So undoubtedly one of the biggest innovation leaps in the warehouse over the last five years or so has been around wearable computing. Um, we've seen, you know, in the last couple of years, a 30% year-on-year increase in deployment of wearable technology. So this is the ability to put mobile computing on the wrist, data capture technology on the hand, and if you think about the amount of uh, commerce now that is moving online, so we're seeing 10% of retail sales, pretty much almost 10% now of retail sales is happening online. About a third of that is happening on the mobile device, and this is resulting in a lot of singulated picking in the warehouse and the need to fulfill many more orders. Um, I think uh, we've probably all experienced placing an Amazon order and then the next day or even hours later placing another order. So the, the amount of picking, the rate at which that picking is occur, occurring, the expectation of fulfillment of those goods has driven the adoption of uh, technology that helps automate the worker and helps automate the picking of those goods in an error-proof, really efficient way. Maybe I could break it down into sort of three segments of the, of the way that we see things going in, in the warehouse. One is leveraging um, traditional mobile computing technologies and, and wearables. So this is innovating really around form factor to blend the mobile computing experience together with the human experience. So the idea of wrist-mounted wearable, hand-mounted uh, barcode reading for doing picking and fulfillment. The second stage that we're gonna enter into over the next few years now is something we call directed action or frictionless workflow. And this is seamlessly putting information right in front of the user. That might be with some traditional form factors, but we really see it moving much more towards heads-up display, um, think Pokemon Go for the enterprise, if you will. And then the third phase is the combination of that second one with automation. So um, if you think, of, think about brain versus brawn inside the warehouse, being able to use robotics and uh, autonomous vehicles for reducing the physical labor that's required to get the job done while still helping those warehouse workers make the best decision with that augmented productivity. So it'll be a human machine assist in the third wave, directed action in that middle wave, and then today we're really seeing this great opportunity around the uh, adoption of traditional wearable technology in the warehouse.